Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Econobox Garage. Come on in. So in last week's video I showed how I messed up with the uh, the sealer coat that I put on and uh, at this point I've spent a lot of time sanding it back and then uh, putting a coat of uh, Duplicolor's uh, high fill primer over the whole thing. So it's all sanded back now with 400 and just about ready for color. Well, I've given the garage a bit of a sweep out. Um, I've got the, the bonnet, the doors, the gear shift cover, the license plate light plinths, and the main part of the body all sanded and wiped down initially. Uh, so next up is to get it masked up. So I've already started um, at the front, so I'll work on that. I've already showed you the masking in an earlier video, so I'm not going to bother with that. So the next time you see this, we'll be getting it wiped down with prep sol or a, a cleaning agent, tack rags, and then some color. Well, after a few days away, I'm back at it. Uh, the car is all masked off. The question was asked in previous videos why I'm masking off the interior. Uh, it's because I'm not doing any painting in there other than where I put the new floors in. That's got POR15 on it. Um, I've left the rest of it as it is. That way I can re uh, retain the original chalk marks. There's a mark on the in tunnel and one on the floor over top of the rear axle. The engine compartment's all masked off. I painted that a, a gray color. So that will tie in with the, the gray that's under, on the underside of the bonnet and the carpet kit that's going in the car. So next up is I'm going to get everything cleaned up. I have a little bit of tidying up to do in here first. Um, got to get that, that out of here, put some things away from up here. Uh, then I'll give the car a wipe down uh, with some cleaner and I'll, I'll show you that in just a minute. So I just picked up my paint. Um, it's a single stage urethane and it's uh, actually a Bentley, I guess in their catalog it's a Bentley Old English White. So there's two quarts of paint there. Uh, I have some reducer and activator that I need. I've got the cups to mix it up with. Uh, but before all that goes on, I'll need to do a final wash uh, with this product here that I picked up uh, from Global Auto Body Supplies recommended that you put this on with a spray bottle um, and then just wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. So I have a few microfiber cloths left in my grab -a rag box, but I'm getting kind of low. So I took some of my um, older ones, not that one, and just run some of these other ones through the laundry. So I do have a lot of clean ones left. And then I just picked up a spray bottle from the dollar store. So I'll spray this on and then wipe it off with the clean cloths. Now before I go too crazy with this, I'm going to test it to make sure it's compatible with the primer that I've got on there. So let's get to work on that. So now that I've got this all cleaned up, I've got gone, went, I went over it twice with the surface cleaner. Uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, the bottom of the poly is held down. I've just got a hammer sitting down there. Um, I've got to do something on this side. I'll probably just put a broom handle or something just to hold this out of the way. Uh, before we get going, um, still have to get rid of this. Move a couple other things out of the way. So after that, I will get suited up, get the tack cloths out and mix up some paint. I've gone over the car with a tack cloth, so it should be as clean as I can get it uh, in here. Uh, got rid of the garbage can, 
I've got my uh, paper taped up on the side here so I can uh, test the pattern on the gun. I'm, I'm getting a little nervous, uh, but I've learned quite a bit from comments and calls I've got since the last video where things didn't go quite according to plan. I'll probably start with the doors um, and then go uh, to the rest of the body just to get the hang of it. Because if I mess up, the door is going to be a little easier to, to fix in the long run. So anyway, let's uh, head over to the bench. Anyway, it's uh, edge urethane single stage and it mixes four to one to one with activator and reducer. So if you notice here, there's several, uh, I think there's one to one, three to one to one and four one one. Um, and so on. So what happens here is you fill up the, go up to the line you want to, I'm going to do about half a quart or a quart to start, so I'll probably go up to the, the seven or the eight on here with the urethane itself and it gets topped up to the eight here with the activator and then topped up again to this mark with the reducer. So that ends up being a four, four parts of the base, one part activator, one part reducer. Now before I start doing anything, uh, I'm going to pop the lid on this. I'll give that a really good stir, pour it into here, add the reducer and activator, give that a really good stir, and then pour it into the gun, which I have thoroughly cleaned uh, from the last time. Once the paint's mixed, I'll pour it through uh, the strainer into the cup, and then we'll get into the booth and get some color on that car. No more primer. Uh, I've got some old English white. That's the first coat of that single stage urethane paint on. And all in all, I'm quite happy with the results. Turned out way better than when I did the sealer. Um, although I am noticing uh, a bunch of runs I'm going to have to fix up. Uh, I ended up touching this with the hose. So I've got to redo that one. And then I ended up with a self-inflicted run on here. I had too much paint on there and it dripped onto the door. Um, this turned out really nice. The doors have turned out pretty good. <laughs> really, I am quite excited about how this has turned out. Uh, I've got a bit of a run across here. I noticed one on the side of the pod here for the headlight. And then there's, uh, there's one across here. And one little bug managed to find its way into the paint. As I said, for a first time paint job, and after what happened with the, the sealer, I am extremely happy with how this has turned out. Uh, onto the tub of the car, again, you can see there's a fairly substantial run across here. I got a little heavy on the paint up here. And there's some runs across the back here. So I'm gonna have to wait until this sets up properly, maybe give it a couple of days and then get in there and try and cut those that uh, really made a mess of things around the license plate. But it's nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, a little light in a couple of places, but I did intend on doing two coats anyway. Definitely a huge step in the right direction. I still have a bunch of work to do, but all in all, I'm very happy of how this has turned out. And here's just another shot, just from a different angle, that's across the top of the cowl. Very happy with how that's turned out. It's great to see this in old English white. Well, that wraps up this week's episode on the bug I build in the Econobox garage. A little disappointed with the amount of runs that I've created, but all in all, I'm really happy with how this turns out. So in the next video, I'll be working on repairing those runs and getting a second coat of paint on the car. 
If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below or contact me via the email address that I'll put at the bottom of the screen here. So I'm glad you could join me. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.